coolant bypass thermostat okay follow up video because I have heard from some customers that it's not entering properly inside in any case three things I want to mention three things when you get uh, the bypass the cancellation of the thermostat first thing four millimeter drill bit cleanly bit the bore here inside no need no need to with electric tool just by hand just insert it inside put it and remove it and then blow it with a little bit of air to be nice and clean the hole sometimes there are some how to say now that some small things inside don't ask me why i have i have given an order always to clean it the small bore that goes inside this it has to come inside nicely like that no need to have a tight fit if it has a tight fit and it's not going full at the bottom usually it's not stepping properly not on the m 56 on the m 57 because it has a plastic housing so it's making like this it doesn't leak but it's not 100% correct that's why I'm saying I'm sorry I have to do that earlier but, but I forget it I forget it okay just clean this side with a four millimeter drill bit blow a little bit with air to be nice and clean it just fell down beautiful <clears throat> and then try to put it first without the spring that means try to insert inside without the spring and see that it's nice and when you're entering inside it's not make any sound like like has a sound for example inside that's the first thing second thing you're gonna have a fault stored fault on the ECU if you put a diagnostic let us say after a month of using the bypass and you're gonna say that the coolant temperature cannot reach at operation temperature because it will never gonna reach it will gonna reach only under um, under a hard pull in a hot day it might reach at the operation temperature but it will never gonna reach at 110 degrees the coolant had supposed to be with the original thermostat 105 to 110 degrees should I convert it in Fahrenheit now this one Give later 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 <clears throat> one thing to clean the bore that has inside second thing the fault on the ECU that's not triggering the check engine and the third one there's another third one there's a third I was willing to say three things and I forget the third one give me a second ah yes 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 one second we need a marker for that 85 degrees Celsius this it's supposed to be equal with 185 Fahrenheit I think uh, do not let the car do not drive the car I mean uh, when you are cruising if it's a cold day or it's a cold night and you're cruising and you see that the coolant temperature goes below 85 degrees or 185 Fahrenheit Celsius or Fahrenheit you have to stop on the side of the street you have to leave the car warm up and then you have to continue your trip it's not good to go less than 85 degrees Celsius or 185 Fahrenheit it's not again it's not good it's not the ideal it's okay to keep to maintain let us say that the temperature 90 or 92 let us say 95 not on the instrument cluster on the instrument cluster it shows to you something between 90 and 94 it's never going more than 94 it never goes less than 90 but if you see that it drops down less than 85 then you cannot continue cruising the car this is like i said before don't misunderstand this is if you let us say prepare your car for one event and you put a slick tires you remove the seats then you put also this for racetrack or if let us say it's very hot the country for six months especially here in this country for six seven months you're using this and you always have the original one as a backup just in case just in case if you want to make a long trip so it's not the ideal for a fuel efficiency and it's not an ideal for a daily use in a cold country because you have to stop on the side of the street you have to leave the warm-up and then you have to continue your trip that's the negative that's the reason why i'm saying that's not for daily use i hope that i make myself clear again again the bore here clean it up so when it comes the time to put inside you're not gonna feel like it has some debris some some uh, garbage let us say inside yeah that's it 
Thank you very much. Sorry that I didn't do that earlier. Honestly, I forget it. I was busy. Now that they, they sent me one message today morning, now it is 20 minutes to 8 in the morning. I came early in the garage for this reason. That's it. Thank you very much.